Hello everybody, um, this is Toby again here with the 216 Auto Restorations. Uh, the 1959 El Camino, it's a little progress report here. Uh, we've got the car in the booth, we've got it all taped off and ready to paint. I'm gonna probably do that tomorrow. Uh, paint all the bottom down here black. Everything up above here is white. It's been painted white and the top has been painted white and I just want to show you the progress and the amount of work that goes into taping off the cars. I had to tape off all of this, these fins here, all the windows, the window, the windshield, the roof, the door windows <clears throat> inside the vehicle. See the amount of paper and the amount of tape that it takes to tape off a car like this when you do not pull the trim and you do not pull the windows. This is quite the undertaking. Uh, the whole inside of the car basically been taped. So I don't get any overspray on the windows inside or any of the dash components. A uh, pretty rare vehicle so the Parts are pretty much irreplaceable, some of this stuff. Uh, I'm gonna be painting the door jams here too, all of this down in here. Door jams up to here. This white right here that I painted, this will all be black on here. There's trim pieces that come down along here and also up along here. That will cover all that spot. The rest of this will all be black, as well as this area, inner door jams. I made it so I could close the door, just in case if I wanted to get a good spray pattern going. I usually walk the car, which means that I start at the front of the car, spraying, and I spray all the way down the whole side instead of doing a panel at a time. And there's a couple different reasons for that. Especially when you're playing, uh, spraying pearls or candies or something, you want a good solid line going all the way down the car. So just to say that if you only sprayed the fender, you sprayed from this point here, down the fender, and stopped right here past the door, then you come back and forth and back and forth. Well, you're gonna have a, a lot of buildup of paint in this area and it could cause a run or different coloration. Being that this is a solid color, it's black. You know, I could probably get away with doing that, but I'm just a traditional in my way that I walk the car the whole, the whole distance. Uh, <clears throat> just seems to be easier for me to do that. I can keep track of where I am a little better. And it just seems to give a, a better job so you don't see any different colors between the fender and the door and the door and the quarter panel. The whole windshield, the whole roof of the car, everything here has been taped off under the hood. Um, maybe I can show you that when I pull the tape under the hood has all been taped off also but I've got the hood closed I really don't want to open that right at this moment but so here you go progress on the 59 El Camino 216 auto restoration the homemade paint booth Now that I've got everything taped off, I've got some room, I can go ahead and close this door up. I've got a door right here, a whole wall here, this whole wall assembly. We'll roll over and close up against that wall right there. He said one day I will do a complete tutorial on how I built my paint booth. And maybe somebody that has a the garage like mine, mine's 30 by 50, so I do have a little bit of room, but anybody could do this inside their garage. It seems to be better than, I'm not gonna say better, but it seems to be the way <clears throat> that I built it for my convenience and for 
what I have here to work with. It works really good for me. So anybody, anyways, everybody, thank you for watching and, uh, and for following along. Hopefully this thing turns out nice like I'm planning on. And I uh, will keep you updated as I go. All right, thanks again, everybody. Take care.